Hello, T Raven here, and today we are going to change the water in a hydroponics system. Uh, well, it should have been done a while ago. <laughs> uh, some people suggest every couple weeks. Uh, I'm too lazy for that shit. So I did it probably like a month or months. Uh, oop, and I lost. All right, every couple months or every month I mean uh, eventually the water levels start getting low <laughs> due to evaporation pumping the water through and all that other nonsense and plus it's nice to put nice and fresh nutrients in there for your plants to keep growing nice and strong these plants are roughly a month and two weeks a month and a half old and uh, they're growing beautifully they had more leaves but I've been cutting leaves off to give the bottom branches more light and stuff and you know just for better airflow and all kinds of benefits that come with taking off leaves from a plant uh, they're nice and strong now this one has two tops as you can see if I can move this camera over this way it's got two tops because it was on accident actually I will confess when I was doing the old benderoo trick I accidentally snapped the top clean off I was like oh crap but it grew uh, two tops and they grew nice it's still growing nice and even with the other plants so it's growing quite well so first what we do is yank out after checking timers make sure that your water ain't about to kick on <laughs> yeah, yank the puppy out Alright, let's yank you out. Uh, be careful with your head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's yank this bad boy out. Oof. Oof. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, save me. Yeah, this plant's already starting to flower. I just knocked the flower off. And you can see. Let me bring you around here. Let's see if we can get a nice shot. Flowers! Flowers! Lovely flowers! Yeah. Okay. Uh, so... Now on to emptying and cleaning out the bin. Alright. In order to uh, adequately do this, we've got to make sure that the roots ain't finna get busted up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, drop this puppy up on a couple of buckets. Uh, hopefully we'll do less damage. Less harm and shit to the plants. <sighs> It's alive! Okay. As you can see, the water level has dropped. My pump is quite exposed. <laughs> I'm an embarrassment to growers everywhere. <laughs> and, but, this puppy's been chugging along quite fine. There is little to no fungal growth down here. Actually, I don't see any, so I don't know where the little came from. But there is a lot of nutrient buildup all over the place. All icky and gooey. So we're going to have to empty this bad boy out and put in some fresh water. So on to pouring out the water. Okay, so after emptying out the bin and putting and scrubbing it down nice, we must refill our bin. The intricate process of which I shall describe in the following. Take your gallons of water. These are distilled water. We have a home distiller. They have perfect pH and no contaminants in theory. 
I will put five gallons of water in this bin. It was measured out in order to coat or cover my consarn pump. Oh, well, and this is the complex process of filling your hydroponic system with water. Two gallons. And a three gallon bin thingy. Making five gallons of pristine distilled all right now the nutrients to put nutrients back in your water read the label and according to this whatever stage your plants are in you apply nutrients accordingly and that is pretty much the gist of cleaning and changing the water of your hydroponic system scrub it down and pour it out scrub it down fill it up nutrient and you're done and assemble reassemble and fini and here we are everything put back together and working perfectly again Hopefully, my plan survived. <laughs> we'll find out in a couple days. And, uh, la di da -di, we likes to party. We don't cause trouble. We don't bother nobody. Peace, love. Peace, love.